When they see this rig, the first thing they say is usually, wow. The primary reason is ground clearance. They go rock crawling and off-roading because you need the ground clearance to get over rocks, logs, and such as that. Mountainous regions, and you can get way back in the woods with this. Superlift suspension has been around since 1975. We do basically what we call lift kits. We lift up vehicles, four-wheel drive vehicles, some two-wheel drives. Um, we applicate Jeeps all the way back into the 40s, um, full-size pickup trucks back into the late 60s. More traditional thing we do is this Jeep over here. This application is the uh, 97 to 06 Jeep TJ. It has our four inch long arm on it, 35 inch tires, and it's also a rock crawler. And this is sitting on 35 inch tires. It also has a handsome bumper on it, worn winch. They say, wow, that's all it takes. I realize that uh, camping has had to have been a lot harder than it was, but when I see your tent, that can be easy. It can be a lot of fun doing it this way. I just set it up in less than 30 seconds. The Oz tent sets up faster. It's modular. You can add pieces, extended rooms, add two tents together so you have plenty of living space in the middle, extra bedrooms, lots of shade, lots of out of the elements, no bugs. And it's easy and it's fast. And you can purchase this one here. It's got all the accessories, the side panels, the front panels that can be attached to the existing awning, which it takes just two standard peak poles and a ridge pole, and you can actually create another living space where you can sleep in the back and come out here to hang out. One of our specialties at Equipped Expedition Outfitters is we are the importer uh, to North America for all of these great South African products. All of our products are made in Johannesburg, South Africa. So we import the uh, rooftop tents for your vehicles. We import the Easy On awnings, Campmore Outdoor uh, ground tents, which, which are labeled to be the toughest ground tents in the world. And one of the things we're most proudest of is we're the importer of the National Lunar Refrigerators, refrigeration and freezer systems, which has been uh, tested to be the best mobile refrigerator uh, freezer combo in the uh, world uh, the last two years. So welcome to our rooftop tent. Uh, it's by Ezeon. Um, it's 1.6 meters wide. It's basically a queen size bed on top of your truck. Come on up for a look. Did I mention it's waterproof? Um, so I'm sitting in our Ezeon rooftop tent right now, parked on top of Lucy, our 1997 model Land Cruiser. This is where my wife and I and our dog Jackson, we sleep every night. Um, this is basically a queen size bed on top of your car. We sleep like babies up here. We say it's some of the best sleep uh, that we get. This is an expedition vehicle. It's built to be self-contained for extended periods of time to be out on your own with no electricity, nobody around you to be off-grid. This particular truck carries 90 gallons of water. We carry all the way up to 200 gallons of water. The biggest thing that makes us self-contained is the way we do our solar array on the roof down to our battery bank and the entire cabin part, the living area of the truck, is basically powered by solar with the exception of a couple appliances in there which are diesel. This is one of our typical uh, layouts in an expedition vehicle. You have a, a small galley area with a microwave and confection oven, sink, and a two burner diesel cooktop. Then you have a bed configuration which can either be bunk beds, full size bed, queen size bed, king size, whatever the customer wants. Um, storage areas, um, we have, always have air conditioning, um, the booth usually makes out into a third sleeping area, as, as this one does. What's the reaction that you get from guys, for example? Um, most guys want it worse than they want their wives. <laughs> it's the truth, sorry. <laughs> Maybe we should end on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>